Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to our Animator tutorials. In this video, we'll dive into the follow feature, a critical tool for growing your accounts effectively. Let's break it all down step by step so you can set it up properly and maximize your results. All right, let's jump in. Okay, first things first, let's open our Animator software and navigate to the follow tab. This is where all the magic happens for automating follows on Instagram. Now, as you can see here, there are several options we need to configure. Let's go through them one by one. Under follow method, you have a few target options. Follow users, followers. This is the most effective source for growing your account, especially when targeting high quality followers. Follow users, likers. Another great option to target users who are actively engaging with posts. Follow specific users. If you have a list of usernames, the bot will follow them directly. Simple and specific. Follow accounts using keyword search. You can use keywords to find and follow accounts. This is a broader approach, but less targeted. Follow followers of own followers. This lets the bot interact with your existing audience by following their followers. Now, let's configure the follow action section here. You'll set how many users you want to follow in each operation and the delay between follows. For example, minimum users to follow, set this to five. Maximum users to follow, Set this to 10. Delays. After following, I recommend setting a minimum of three seconds and a maximum of six seconds. This keeps the actions looking natural. Below, you'll find the total followings limit. This is the total number of people the bot will follow on this account. If you don't want a limit, you can leave this as none. Next, we have the follow limit per day. This is super important for keeping your account safe. If your account is still in the warm up phase, start with a lower limit like 10 follows per day. Once your account is warmed up, you can gradually increase this, but keep it realistic. Don't go crazy with high numbers. Scrolling down, you'll see the additional settings section. Let me highlight some key options here. Mute users after follow. This prevents your feed from getting cluttered with posts from users you follow. Follow. Only if account's name includes these list of names. Use this if you want to target male users and make sure to add as many names you can. Do not follow. If accounts name includes these list of names, helps you avoid accounts with certain names like female names. Complete. Follow daily limit. First before unfollowing. Enable this to make sure the bot finishes all its follow actions before starting to unfollow users. Don't follow user that was already followed by the same tagged account. This prevents the bot from re-following users it has already followed before. A good option to keep things efficient. Only follow users that have active stories. This helps you target active users. It's checked by default and a great option to enable, like stories after following. If you want the bot to like a user's stories immediately after following them, Enable this and set the number of stories to like. All right, now let's talk about filters. And here's an important note. Filters only work when you select follow users followers. So if you're using any other method, those filters won't apply and the bot will not work properly. Okay, these filters help you narrow down the type of accounts you want to follow. For example, posts, count. You can set a range like a minimum of 10 posts and a maximum of 50 to target active accounts. Followers count. Let's say you want to target accounts with 10 to 20,000 followers. Set the minimum and maximum here. Followings count. Similarly, you can target accounts based on how many people they follow. There are also options to filter by verified accounts or business accounts. For example, if you want to avoid verified accounts, select follow only unverified accounts and you can choose to avoid private accounts as well. Enable business account filter. You can choose to follow business or non-business accounts. Do not follow private accounts. If you don't want to follow private profiles, check this option. Moving on, you can enable specific days of the week for following actions. For example, you might want to run follows only Monday through Friday. Just check the boxes for the days you want. You can also set a specific limit per day to follow. However, remember to adjust this based on whether your account is warmed up or not. High limits can be risky for new accounts, so start slow and increase gradually. 
Before we wrap up, let me share some best practices. Always use follow users, followers, or follow users, likers as your source methods. They provide the best results. Add at least 20 target accounts in the source list and make sure these accounts have over 20,000 followers each. Avoid targeting private accounts or verified accounts with a blue checks. Okay, that's everything for the follow feature setup. We've covered all the options, filters, and best practices. In the next video, we'll dive into configuring other engagement tools like likes and story views. See you there.